Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your November 1st through the 10th, 2018 reading for you. And I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, but I am just giving them last good shuffle for you guys, connecting with spirit and making sure that you hear the message that needs to be said to you. Now, if you would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Awesome. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful way to start with the sun card right there and change coming in. Oh, goodness. Okay. And there you are, Taurus Sun Menorah Ascendant, with the King of Pentacles. I love this. Okay. The sun and the death card together. For me, that's a huge balance coming into play. Okay. And I'll explain that in a minute. Your clarifying cards. I'm gonna put the deck right up here. I'm sure you can see everything okay. A little bit of a different setup. But I'll pull everything closer for you guys to see everything. Okay. So the first card here is the sun card. And you begin with the sun card. So this is prosperity, this is joy, this is happiness. This is really the happiest card in the whole entire deck. And whenever anybody hears that, they go, oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So the sun card is something to get very excited about, but it isn't the be all end all because with the sun card also comes jealousy and people looking at you and thinking, you know, you're not that great and you seem to be thinking really highly of yourself right now. So know that with this joy, with this happiness does come the snide comments, the jealousy, the people looking at you and thinking, you know, why do you get to be so happy? Because November 1st through the 10th is going to be a time where you really start to see the prosperity, the joy, the happiness, the abundance coming into your life, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, because you have the Sun card right here, and then you have you guys being represented by the King of Pentacles. Okay, you are an Earth sign. Earth signs are represented by the Pentacles, and right now you guys are coming through as the King of Pentacles. That has nothing to do with gender. For me, I see the King of Pentacles as being, quote unquote, a typically masculine energy, but that could be for anybody. It just means that you are coming through as a strong personality, as somebody who knows what they want, who isn't going to be apologetic about going after and getting it. Be it, the queens are also astoundingly strong, but this is more of an entitlement, all right? And not in a bad way, not in a selfish, self-centered way, but this is sitting here and saying, after so long, you are getting what you have worked so hard for, and you're not going to sit there and be like, oh my gosh, I don't deserve it. You know, I'm not going to take this. I can't be happy. I won't be happy. No, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Even if you have those thoughts, kick them away, far, far away from you because you are moving forward. Finally, finally, it is your time. It is your time. It is your time to sit there and say, you know what? I get to be happy too because you give for everybody else and you always have Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And now you're sitting there and saying, Okay, now peace, joy, and happiness are coming into my life and I'm receiving it and I'm accepting it because things are going to start moving quickly for you. The Eight of Wands is things start to move quickly. You start to see changes come in. You're excited, but you're also hesitant. It's almost like you don't want to be too happy too fast, okay, because you don't want to be disappointed. And that's logical, okay? You're not sitting there saying, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going to be walking on sunshine forever. No, you're sitting there and saying, okay, this change is coming in. I need to kind of digest it a little bit. I need to take it all in. I need to understand, you know, that I'm moving forward in my joy and in my happiness. Because for each and every one of you, Taurus and Moon or Ascendant, this is going to be different. This is going to be something that brings you happiness, but it doesn't have to be something huge. It just has to be huge for your soul, all right? When people hear that good things are coming and that change is coming quickly and that they're going to have to step back, everybody always thinks of something amazing you know, earth shattering, front page of the news. No, this can be something quiet, something calm. But that just when you sit there and you see it and you've achieved it and you have it in your life, you think, my gosh, I am so blessed. That's the feeling that you are going to have at various points during these 10 days. That, my gosh, I am blessed. Not all the time, not every moment of every single day, but just the feeling of moving forward in your prosperity, in your joy, in your happiness and letting this change come in as majesty of self. Okay, because there's a sense of majesty here with the 
with the sun cord card, he has the torque around his neck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a sign of royalty in ancient Celtic times. King of Pentacles, crown upon his head. You are king. This is your sign. All right. This is the divine right to live in prosperity after a time of suffering, after a time of, you know, really, 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 really working hard to have this joy and happiness be in your life. The fruits of your labor are paying off. The stag here, another sign of majesty, right? A sign of royalty, moving forward, things changing, embracing these blessings. And then there's a sense that you have to rest. I just sighed, that's what you need to do, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Sun. And it's just like, oh my gosh, finally. I can breathe a sigh of relief. I can calm myself. Things are moving forward in my prosperity. You're going to be getting insight through your dreams. You're going to have an awakening of some part of you, because that tree right there is also a woman, right? There's a part of you that has been laying dormant. It's going to start to awaken. And you're going to start moving forward in your truth and in your prosperity. But you need time to rest. You need time to heal. And you have right here the angels fiercely guiding you and guarding you. But pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your gut feels, okay? They're going to be leading you in the right direction. Then you have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is prosperity. It's your harvest coming in. It's wealth, all right? But it's also sitting there and taking a broader view of things because on her arm is the hawk, right? So in falconry, you can see and hunt with a 360, like a bird's eye view, quite literally. That's what you're doing. You're not just seeing what's in front of you, you're taking in everything. You're taking in the big picture. And that's why you're moving forward in your happiness with not a bit of hesitance, but just a bit of, okay, I'm gonna make this last. You're going to savor it, right? Because your harvest is coming in, you're guarding your purse, okay? Knowing where your money is going, knowing how much you're spending, okay, is going to be very important. You're moving forward in your truth and your prosperity. You're not just counting on somebody else to help you move forward, to take in all the information. You're looking at things also yourself. There's a sense of true love coming in with the swans right down there, because swans mate for life. For me, they're a symbol of love. It's a symbol of connection. It doesn't have to be romantic love. I actually think this reading is more about personal love, personal prosperity, personal joy and happiness coming into your life. And it's kind of as if you're saying, finally, 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 finally. There's a sense of being committed to the path that you're on, being in love with the choices that you're making. And it's not going to be all the time. This isn't talking about 24 hours a day, seven days of a week, living in absolute prosperity. That's not it at all. There's a balance here, because you have the death card, a dying away of the old self, a rebirth of the new, really sitting there and knowing now your path better than ever before, feeling as if you've come home. Feeling as if, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I'm moving forward in my abundance. Because these two cards are your two major arcana cards that are in your reading, but they are also balances to each other. So the high of the sun card isn't going to quite be quite as high because of the death card. The changing of the way that you're seeing things isn't going to be quite as intense because of the joy that you're also experiencing in your life. So there's a juxtaposition, there's a balance of self that is here, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, that is really grounding you, that is really moving you forward, and that you are absolutely embracing. Okay? You have the angels watching over you, guiding you forward with the dogs here. Half of them are looking back towards the spiritual world. Half of them are moving forward on the earthly plane. Embracing your truth, embracing your understanding. But you're looking at the bigger picture. You're looking at what you are achieving on the earthly plane, and you're sitting there and saying, what is it that I need to achieve for my soul to be happy? That is what you're doing. Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And your clarifying cards all have to do with the mind and the self, because you have the Ace of Swords, and you have the Six of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is a gift card, okay? So with a gift card, you have to accept the gift. And this is a gift of knowing your mind, knowing what you want, clarity of self. This is a gift from the universe, the divine, God, source, spirit, however you say it, however you see it. This is what's moving you forward, is a sense of clarity of self. It's almost as if a bell is being rung and it's clear and it's perfect and it's beautiful. And, you, and it resonates through your body, but it also kind of 
sets your soul in harmony, right? Because they say that we are all vibrational beings, that we all have energy to us, and we all live and exist off of that energy. And when we're out of harmony, it's that energy is is not flowing properly. It's think of it as a stream full of rapids instead of a beautiful calm brook. You're getting that calm back, that center back, and you're moving forward. Now, some of you might be physically moving. Okay, you might sit there and say, okay, I'm moving forward, I'm seeing things differently, and I need to move from either you're moving house, you could be moving jobs, you could be moving just the way that you're viewing the world. And that's not a small thing at all, even though I just say just. You're moving forward in your truth and in your prosperity, in your glory of self and being. There are people here who are huddled together, okay, but they're guarded. The angels are protecting them, and he's standing tall and firm. You're moving into the unknown. And it's scary, it's overwhelming, but that's always what the future is. The future, no matter how much guidance you have, is always going to have an element of the unknown to it. But you're moving forward and you're embracing your truth. Take this gift to our sun, moon, or ascendant because it is absolutely beautiful. It gives you such a sense of strength of self. Okay, give me a moment here. The Eight of, of Wands, things start moving quickly. You're going to start to see that a lot happens within these 10 days for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You embrace it completely. You sit there living in your prosperity, in your truth, in the bounty and the beauty that is you, unapologetically and absolutely assuredly. As you do this, you also need to take time to rest, to center yourself, to move forward. There's an awakening of something within you, okay? This is kind of like my Minor Arcana Judgment card. There's an awakening of something within you, of some truth, some understanding. It's going to come to you more and more in your dreams, more and more when you let your mind wander. The angels are fiercely protecting you as you embrace your truth in yourself. Your harvest is coming in. You're looking at the big picture, okay? You're not being caught up in the details. You're looking at the big picture and saying, yes, it is my time. And you're embracing that truth and that prosperity of self. You're watching your money, okay? You're watching where your time and energy is going. You're protecting yourself. You're falling in love with your path, with what you want from life. Even if it's not all the time, you're having a sense of, okay, I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. And I'm happy with the decisions that I'm making. You're looking at things truthfully and you're not letting other people make your decisions for you. Though you're happy to take their advice. Well, hear their advice. You're embracing your personal happiness, your personal abundance, your personal joy. You're embracing your bliss. You're moving forward in your sense of, yes, it is my time and I've worked darn hard for this. And as you embrace your happiness, you are finding that you are going through a transformative period. You are understanding more, you are taking more in, you're connecting with the spiritual world, but moving forward on the earthly plane, saying, you know what, this is my time because it is your time, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and you've darn well earned it. You've put in the time, you've put in the effort, and you are moving yourself forward in the way that is bringing you your joy and happiness. You're cutting through doubts and fears, and you're moving forward. It might be overwhelming, it might be a bit scary, there's an element of the unknown here, but you are moving forward saying, you know what? I have majesty of self on my side, I have divine guidance, divine purpose, and I am embracing my truth and my prosperity. Your subconscious message is the Ace of Wands, another gift card. Another card that is saying that the divine, the universe, is really right there alongside you, All right? The gifts can come sometimes in the most unlikely places, in the most unlikely ways, and this is a gift of new beginning. This is a gift of harnessing your personal power, the personal divinity which lives inside you. The fact that a bit of the divine, a bit of the universe is within each and every one of us, and that's what you're really embracing here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're embracing your divine power, your divine right to have and manifest the life that you desire and what it is that you want. You're taking this, you're harnessing your personal joys and happiness, and you're taking a step towards a new beginning, and you're embracing a new beginning that is bringing you closer to your authenticity and more assuredly within yourself. 
this is a beautiful 10 days. These are beautiful 10 days for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Embrace them. Take them. Remember to be kind to yourself as you're embracing your truth. And watch your prosperity unfold. All right. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.